No, you can't. Streamer fishing is something that you learn through doing. Like, you gotta put the hours and hours in. Like, to get to the point where you can um, successfully catch fish. All right, what's up guys? We have one final day on the White River. Your boy TJ Kessler is arriving currently. We're gonna go out for like a short little like um, evening run on the White. The weather's horrible, it's high pressure, sunny. The river's not all that high, so chances are not great that we're gonna catch a giant fish, but you know, it's worth a shot. It's our last day, might as well strip some streamers, destroy my already broken hands and see what happens. How do you feel, Andrew? Good. I don't really expect to catch much, but you know, see if we can get one last trout at least. Yeah, it's, it's just fun to be out here, man. I love the White River. It's challenging, and for that reason, I love it. So I'm gonna definitely be back. But let's see, let's see what we can do here. Let's see, see if we can't catch one last Mr. Brown before before our trip ends here on the legendary White River. All right. So what's going on right here is we're setting up this rod. This is a eight weight, a nine foot eight weight. We're setting it up with a uh, Kelly Gallup 330 grain shovel head. We're fishing streamers out on the White River. The the only thing we're using for tippet here is just a, a, a solid four foot section of zero X or whatever pound mono you would want to use. Preferably nothing lighter than 15 pounds. You need a net? No. <laughs> you sure do, it's a giant, man. He's got grass on him or something, right? He's got somebody oh, look his look his lips all messed up. It is. There's somebody else's lines on him. We might have to do some surgery. We might have to do something. Uh, Alright, surgery's probably not the best idea. Yeah, surgery's not the best idea. Yeah, his, oh, his jaw's all jacked up too. Oh, yeah, maybe. yeah, he's got something going on with him. You wanna put him in the net? I don't know what he's got going on. I'm gonna grab the net real quick. That way. And then let him swim. Yeah. Swim around there, buddy. Yeah, right, we're gonna figure it out for you. He's definitely got something going on with him. Maybe swallow a bait and someone's line broke or they cut it. I'm guessing that's what it is. Here we can. Yep, that would be it. Yep. Well, he's got a dang. You're right, buddy. We're gonna take it. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut that off so you can eat and get out of here. They got a, a swivel. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what kind of what kind of rig they got pulled the, up there. They got a swivel and some other a, some yeah. snap or something and something. Hey baby, there. He'll be all right. I think so. That's one fish. Yeah. Better than no fish, that's for sure. Thanks for net, sir. Yep, it was a real hard net job. Oh, here, let's study this rig that we have cut off here real quick. See what we got. See what we got going on, guys. So we've got it's a lot of hardware for one rainbow. A, a barrel swivel. Why do they have these two connected? These are for, it's for a few, what are they called? Snap swivels? Yeah, snap swivels. Yeah, so you can switch lures quickly, but they have two of them connected to braid right here. Looks like they got braid connected to something that broke off. And then it looks like it's connected like eight pound mono or so. It's an interesting rig, that's for sure. I'll lay this right here and throw it in the garbage later. Yeah, well, you know, some people, they gotta do what they gotta do. Just for the record, I would not recommend that as a way to catch a trout. It's pretty fishy. Show them off or what? Right, buddy. Okay. Good. Yeah. Why is he? Look how pretty his fins are. That is a pretty the fins on that thing. Are gorgeous. Streamer. Everything in the White River eats streamers, by the way, guys. It is not limited to. To. <laughs> What is going on here? 
Back into the depths. TJ's turn. First cut throw of the trip. trip. You can see because they cut on its or the cut on its throat. <laughs> <laughs> the orange on its the bottom of its throat yeah. there, but there we go. Cool. Let's get normal. Cool. Cool stuff. Perfect. Our our purpose in fishing the bank here is when the dam lets go of these big flows, it pushes the the fish from the river channels to the bank. You know, as the river swells the the fish go from the, the channel of the river up against the bank and all this structure and these log jams, trees, just any of this stuff you see. And that's why right now we're focusing on all this structure we can, we can work. So when the water's low and the fish are not uh, pushed to the banks by this, th these high flows, they're gonna be laying in the, in the center of the river a lot of times, center to, you know, 15 foot from the bank, but they're going to be somewhere around the river channel until the dam lets go of this water and then That's when they do their expanding towards the banks That's uh, true with just like anywhere Pretty you know, much, not just yeah. here. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that, that is true with anywhere not just this fishery it's, it's true back where I came from. It's true with anything I've fished, you know trout are Trout are, uh, especially brown trout, they're, they're kind of lazy in nature until they see something they like. So they lay back in these calm in these calm lies and just hunt food as it's coming by because it's uh, it's just easy, you know, and that's, that's what they do. All right, so when we're out here throwing streamers, we're looking to throw towards structure, any of these logs you see laying around. Uh, root wads, anything sticking out of the water, any rocks you would see penetrating the surface. Uh, those are the type of things that the browns seem to, to stay around the most. As far as uh, working streamers, we want to get the streamer as, as close to the bank in the high water as this is possible. Give that thing a couple seconds to start sinking, uh, depending where you're at what type of water you're in you'll have, there'll be different strips lengths and speeds for that if you're uh, if you're fishing grass beds you're obviously gonna have to speed up your strips if you're fishing deeper water you really want to slow your strip down get that thing down really fish your fly instead of just casting out and stripping line in a lot of people today fishing here just stripping yeah, yeah. okay so we'll uh, when, you, when you're fishing your streamer, you want to not make your presentation and just strip line in. You want to add a jigging motion to that or a strip and stop, which allows those materials on your fly to expand and poof out. Um, you really want the tail of your fly always swimming back and forth. So. Guys, um, I just wanted to reiterate one thing that TJ Kessler said, and that is the high water. Um, it doesn't matter where you are. Brown trout are lazy everywhere. Um, they will always seek out the places of least resistance. What that means is if the water's low, they can sit almost anywhere in the river and be comfortable. If the water's high, then they're not gonna sit in the current and run on a treadmill for no reason. Um, they're gonna sit in slack pockets near the bank and it just makes them more predictable. And the more predictable a big fish is, the easier it is to catch. And um, that's just, that's true anywhere. But TJ Kessler knows his stuff. Um, I would definitely listen to any advice he gives out. Um, he's been fishing streamers for a lot longer than I have. And I would highly suggest, suggest him, I can't talk, as a guide as well. So check out Finn Chasers Outfitters, hit him up. He will put you on the fish on the White River. He'll, I'm sure he'll help you out if you have any questions. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this White River series. Um, I have a question for you guys. Um, where else would you like to see me go? Um, White River was always a trip and I'm sure I'll go back. 
Um, I'd like to make it back out west. Um, Georgia, Tennessee, Virginia, um, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, West Virginia. You guys let me know. Um, I'll keep, I'll continue to do the content that I've always done. That's never going to change, but I would like to, you know, explore new areas. So if any of you guys have any tips or anything like that, comment down below and let me know what you think. Yeah, that's the White River series. I don't really have much else to say other than I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, oh, at 10,000 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway. So share these videos around. Try to get me some more subscribers. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever I'm supposed to say. And um, yeah, that'll be super exciting too. So I guess I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.